I have to go to work to keep income coming in so I can support them. But then some days it's like when I'm at work, it is hard to work too because I'm worried about what my kids is doing when I'm at work or what they eat or, you know, stuff like that. I first heard from Latasha Sanders on the first Sunday in January. She was a desperate mother who didn't want her kids to be out on the street. They had nowhere to go. Um, they had been staying at a Motel 6 for five nights and they had run out of money. Latasha's son, Jaywan, believes his mother will get them out of this situation. Well, she always tells us that we should go to work. She do this for us and she say that she, she gonna get everything together one day. Just gotta be patient. And I still believe that, I still do. And I know one day it's gonna happen because like she never give up. And she's still working. And as long as that happens, I just believe that uh, there's, there's gonna be a change one day. I don't know how to help you, but I'm still trying to figure that out as I'm reporting this. But it was important for me to come and see you guys in the situation um, and just talk to you. This was the first time I actively inserted myself into a situation uh, with a person who was in crisis. I, I could hear her fear as a mother that she did not know where her children were going to lay their heads that night. Through all the red tape, I'm a reporter, I'm a journalist, and I was not able to navigate the system enough to say, go here, this is where you will sleep tonight. And, and that, that just frustrated me beyond Three. belief. Three. Yeah, Jenna said you need to get. Yeah. It's like a dream, yes. huh? I mean, this, 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 what everybody wants. A house like this. I'm excited, but I'm not too excited yet until we actually have the paperwork stating, you know, with the late lease and our signature on it then I'd be super excited to know that it's actually mine. <laughs> so, a few weeks after I met I Latasha up. in the hotel, so Friday, I would hear from her again, learning that she almost got scammed trying to rent her dream home. Latasha and her family are now staying with yet another family friend. I'm worried that if she doesn't find permanent housing soon, she'll be right back in the same predicament. So I'm still at the job, the job is doing well. Um, we're still in the situation where we still are looking to move. The kids are happier than where we were. Um, they're in school. Homelessness in Indianapolis. There are huge gaps in the system and um, something has to be done. But I'm actually out here making sure I go to work, make sure the kids stay in school. Um, I'm still providing for myself, but I just need like that extra helping hand. Like, Okay, I see you working, you're trying to get this together and that together. Let me help you with X, Y, Z, you know, to help you out. I feel like we should have a program like that. Somebody to come and help. Help those that's helping themselves, basically.